Hey guys, welcome to my Java tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to create a unit converter. So, assuming you already have downloaded Eclipse and have already created a project before, you're going to uh, create your Java project, call it unit converter. Uh, we'll create a package within there. For now, I'm just going to call it tutorial. And then you're going to create a class, and we'll call we'll also call that unit converter. And then down below, where it says which method stubs would you like to create, uh, check off the public static void main so we don't have to type it. It'll automatically generate it within the class, and that's where our code's going to go. Uh, <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do is create a user input as a string, and we're going to create this thing called G option. And it basically creates the dialog box for the user to input whatever uh, unit of measurement and number he wants to put in. So sometimes there'll be a red line under it, but it automatically generated for me. If there is a red line, all you have to do is uh, go up here between package and class and import the J option pane. Um, so we want the user to enter a number, a space, and the unit and keep it simple and short we're just going to use inches or, or centimeters for this one um, so basically it's going to ask the user to input a number the unit of measurement and that space between them and then we have we're going to have the number stored as a double and the unit of measurement is going to be a string so before we even get to the number of the unit we're just going to start with the space position so for the space position it's just the user input and then Index of uh, index of and then the argument is going to be um, just a space. And now we're gonna the next thing we'll go into is the number, which will be set as a double. So the number variable we need to parse the double from the string as a double, and um. First argument is going to be zero. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, zero, and then user input index of, and then it's going to be that space, just like before. All right, now we got the number variable, and then the last thing is going to be the string uh, unit. That's just going to be the user input dot substring and then space position plus one uh, user input length so it covers the whole length of the string that is inputted and then don't forget to add uh, the dot trim okay so Missing something here. Oh, just another parentheses. Okay. There we go. Now it's working. Um, so for efficiency, we're going to create some static variables, some constants. So final double centimeters. I checked online. The conversion is 2.54 centimeters per inch. And for the opposite, it's... Point, I think it's 0.3937 per centimeter for an inch. Okay, so now we're going to define and initialize a number and a unit for our if statement. So we're going to start the number as zero because it's a double, and then for the string, it's going to be null because you can't use a number for a string. And as you can see, we made. Um, we changed the number in the unit here because we can't use number again because we already declared a number in a unit there. So I just shortened it down to num and u for a number and unit for the if statement. So the if statement is going to convert the input into the proper conversions. 
so here's the first one. We'll use equals ignore case. That way, if the user puts in capital or lowercase inch or centimeters, it'll still work. So, and the argument will be CM for the first one. And then, um, here we go. Num, num equals number divided by the centimeters. And then U equals unit equal inch. Okay, and then else if, else if unit dot equals ignore case, and then this time we're going to do inches. And then num equals number divided by inches. And then u this time will equal centimeters. Okay, there you go. Um, now all we have to do is we just need to get this printed out. So to get it printed out, we're just going to have to add um, a system dot out line of code here. Print line. So we want to print out the number. Plus we'll get a little space in there plus the units, and then we want it to set it equal in there, and that'll equal num plus the u. Put another space in there. Okay, now we're going to run our program and see if our conversion works from centimeters to inches. Okay, so the dialog box pops up, enter a number, a space, and a unit, either IN or CM. So we'll just say 10 and then inches. So then it pops out in the console, 10 inches equals 25 centimeters. Okay, let's try it one more time. We'll change up to centimeters and we'll also make it capitalized. So 10 centimeters should still work. 10 centimeters equals 3.9 inches. Okay, so there you have it. You now have a converter. If you want to add more, you can certainly add more. So if you um, don't want to use simply just in inches or centimeters, you can change up the dialog box a little bit. You could add, uh, I don't know, maybe you want to add yards and meters maybe. So we put yard and M for meters and from there, you would just have to add a couple more conversions. So you would just add final double yards and meters, get their equivalent numbers for one of each. And then you just have to change the if statements and you keep putting else if below until you're done uh, making all your conversions. And then do a system out dot print. This doesn't even need to change. This will just stay the same. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Leave any uh, questions or comments within the video in the comment section, and I'll try to get back to you on that. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching.